Today is Friday, January 10th. I look like this because I just took a shower this morning, which wasn't like the best idea, but I really needed one. I haven't showered in like a long time, and uh, the water in my room is uh, very cold, so I had to do an outside shower uh, at the spigot, and uh, which is a little bit warmer water because of the, uh, there's a little there's a motor which heats it a little bit, but it was still quite cold. Took a shower in this type of weather, and as you can see, I'm wearing wool socks and a sweatshirt and coat, so it's not the best outside shower weather. I actually had a bit of a scare. I thought this was going to be my last video here in Nepal because I've been having some problems with the visa. I was told I was going to get a certain visa and never received it, so I was worried about having my visa expire next week um, but it ended up working out and I just got back from Kathmandu like two hours ago um, so like around like around like 6 a.m. I got back um, and I got my visa things situated so I'm here for another 90 days but I think that'll be it after that because it was pretty expensive uh, to do that and I thought it was less expensive but that uh, the less expensive price is just because of the first arrival fee is just not as much and then when you have to do when you're renewing it it's a lot more expensive so I'm not gonna do that again um, so but I, I am here for another 90 days but I was really nervous I thought I was gonna have to leave two days ago I thought I had to leave I was weirdly calm about it because I was just trying to go with the flow I was really sad that I was gonna have to leave but I was still calm about it so that's something I wasn't freaking out uh, over a schedule change which is means I'm growing and I don't have to worry about when something doesn't go as planned um, because I would in the past get pretty anxious about that or annoyed or freaked out but this was kind of like whatever you have to go with the flow try to be proactive and I was already gonna start looking at places I could go hostels I could possibly work at somewhere else um, I realize now it would have been just so much cheaper to leave Nepal um, and then just come back in and get the re-entrance fee for 125 US dollars but there wasn't enough time for that so I got my visa renewed and I went to Kathmandu to do that and I didn't take my video camera which I should have done but I did take a bunch of pictures um, so yeah I went on the bus with a friend Rahul we went together um, there was no one on the bus in the beginning of the ride um, so we got the bus at around 5, 5 o'clock p.m. two days ago and it left around 5.30 and then it stopped at all the local cities and <clears throat> then stopped in Chitwan and then I think just over the Kathmandu but I slept for most of it which was nice and then we got in around 5.30 45, 550 in the morning and Kathmandu and then we were both fine we didn't need to get a room we just walked to the to the Department of Immigration which was like around an hour walk so we got there around 7 um, they weren't open they opened at 10 so we just went and got tea and found a restaurant got a little bit of breakfast used their bathroom which was much needed for both of us um, Oh, I had a celebrity sighting. I saw Daniel Craig. Um, he must have been shooting some ad or something there. I don't know. Um, but I did eventually go get my visa. It's all done, so I don't have to worry about it. But it took a long time. It's a slow process. There are only two machines working. I just don't like being there. I, I had, well, We had all day, but I was just like, I want to get the hell out of here because it's just the worst. It's like being at the DMV. It was like being at the DMV, but worse because you're stay dependent on it. Um, so it just sucked. And I'm glad that's done. Also had to go pick up some coffee for Guruji and the Eckerd students. It was very large in my bag. And I saw the King of Pop on a bus. Um, but yeah, then we just walked around the city. Uh, we went and um, met a college friend of Rahul's, and we went into the <clears throat> the Royal Palace, which is like a tourist location now. Um, but they had a actually a royal, the Royal Massacre happened there, and. Uh, 
the the king and queen and prince were all shot and a lot of the other a lot of other subjects were shot um, and we actually went into an area where you could see the bullet bullet holes and stuff which was pretty intense but um, from what I remember the story about it like they're not sure like who's actually behind it um, if it was like but there's a lot of speculation to like one of the family members like out of all the family members all of them died except for like one who was just happened to be on vacation that time so it's like who knows it would be a pretty good law and order episode yeah I went around to just saw weird shops saw one like saw like just weird items in the windows I saw weird items in shops like I'm just goofy but there's no goofy on that sweatshirt I don't understand um, maybe you're the goofy who's wearing it but then you have to be goofy also just poorly named shops what were they what were they thinking when they named it I guess maybe they didn't know how could you not know oh big deal I um the Eckerd students are here so the students uh, from Eckerd College my alma mater I don't like that word alma mater it's weird where I graduated in uh, college bachelors so I got my bachelors Eckerd College uh, the class that I went on three years ago uh, just arrived three days ago so um, yeah it's really nice to hang out with Eckerd kids and I don't know if they think so but like they're like saying like oh you went to Eckerd when it was cool I'm like nah you guys seem pretty cool so I think it's about the people who go to Eckerd not about Eckerd the school I know Eckerd's been having some issues lately but these kids seem really awesome so I think that's what Eckerd's about and even Rocky he's their like leader for their trip and so even he was saying, like, I love Eckerd students, so don't worry, guys. Eckerd, you're killing it. Even though the school's going through some stuff, just uh, keep, being, keep being new, keep being weird. Um, but, yeah, so I actually, in, in Kathmandu, some of them, uh, I had to buy, I, I bought some wool socks for some of them because they said they had cold feet. Not metaphorically cold feet. They were literally, their feet were cold because um, they weren't, they didn't know how cold it was going to be here. So I got them some socks. Um, that was basically it, and then I, yeah, we ate a good dinner, and then went back on the bus at 5.36, and, uh, that was chaos to try to get on the, find the bus, because it's just, it was, it was not very organized to find the bus, we had no idea where it was, we had to get the number of their bus driver, and, uh, call him and be like, where are you, man? Um, but we eventually got on, and it went over fine. The bus ride was fine. I slept on most of it. I woke up, like, every hour. Um, so you can see my progression throughout uh, the bus ride, of how I felt. But, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so I am staying here, which is really awesome. And I will update you next week with stuff. This was kind of a, a little bit of a, a rushed video this week. Because I didn't have my camera and I also thought I was leaving so I was kind of stressed with visa stuff but all good and uh, yeah I think that's it all right well see you next week bye